There have been times that I've been asked what I do with my spare time. And uh, what I try and do is to sit down on paper some of the things that bother me or really please me. During the last election, I happened to be watching a debate and it inspired a thing that I'd like to offer you now. It's a thing called the New Centurions. It's like this. Flowing silver streams of dreams flow from the mouths of the kings, it seems, as easily as water flows from mountain top to ocean. Happy Sunday promises that will have as much as the Thomases, while suppressing voices that might stem their automotion. The image makers primp and preen to try and mould the king, it seems, into a guise we all appear to have long awaited. But the new centurions silently wait as the new Caesars quietly debate. The might that once was Rome is gone with Egypt as with Babylon, and buildings could be stones upon the bones of many a dead nation. See that man who holds the floor? His hair was not that long before. Apparently the idea men have spoken to him lately. Still the new centurions silently wait as the new Caesars quietly debate. The storyteller weaves a web of how the families shall be fed that sign the declaration that will bring the king to reign. But promises of fairness seem to lack a real awareness as the seabirds fly away to be never seen again. And standing in the shadow with a voice that chills the marrow of your bones is a man who may someday rule your fate. He's the new centurion who silently waits as the new Caesars quietly debate. Give to Caesar that which is truly Caesar's and rightly his. But let no private army decide my brother's earthly fate. a man who falls so hard that it breaks at the seams and it comes apart. He'd rather stay down than get up and fall down again. Then baby out of the night an angel appears. She picks him up and she dries his tears. And he know that she's there when he needs a friend. Who takes the dying man? 